Hey, what is up guys? We are playing the new Magic Bullets, and I say new because there is a new card that really helps out the deck. So anyways, first off, let's go ahead and get started with Ties of the Brethren. Fantastic card in this deck. Absolutely making the deck super, super strong. But uh, we have the whole squad here. Pretty much if you open up with Ties of the Brethren, uh, most people will just ad admit defeat because it's so dang strong to open up with because it's such a just boss and powerful play. So now I have the ability to get rid of a monster, and it actually is good to get rid of your monsters because of the new card, which we will hopefully get later in this duel, and you guys can see it in action over here. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and activate, oh gosh, that's not what we wanted to do because I have auto card placement. Dang, okay. Well, that was kind of my bad over here. Cause it was completely my fault. Um, we should have been using it on Caspar to get another magic bullet card. Unfortunately, we didn't draw into it, <laughs> but uh, it's okay. We'll still win. Um, but yeah, here is the new card, guys. We just drew into it. Is the Shooter Wild? So really good card. It makes it so um, you can activate Magic Bullet Spell and Traps. Okay, so this one makes it so uh, if this card is normal, someone you can send one White Prince to the Rave Route. Absolutely no, just no. Uh, we go ahead. And uh, we need the one where it negates the effect and also makes it have zero attack. Not that we really care too much about the attack, but I just want to get a bunch of magic bullet cards into the graveyard as soon as possible so I, I can show you guys how cool Shooter Wild is because it counts for the magic bullet spells and traps, uh, which is great. Uh, so he's going to grenade that, and then we get to search out any magic bullet card. Uh, and uh, in this scenario, if he dark holds me, I'm not really too scared. Uh, because I can recycle my stuff because uh, that's the only thing that I think that this deck would really lose to um, So yeah, I, I would prefer the uh, destruction effect because if there happens to be a problematic card I can just des destroy it because uh, I already have this one that doubles the attack and uh, we can get back cross dimator later on We can technically recycle it. Uh, we can get it back with Caspar um, Okay, so now it is our turn and uh, we do have a shooter star as well uh, but one thing that I find to be really important is to Immediately, like this card, it's it's not that big of a deal. And uh, during either place, during this card from the hand of the field of graveyard. Oh, okay. So that's not that big of a deal if he makes them lose the attack. I really don't care about that. Um, but I really think that it's important for us to use the new card. So I don't know what he has in the back row. Does anyone really play torrential tribute? Like I don't think so. All right. Like no one played torrential tribute, right? But we'll we'll do it. We'll we'll get rid of this just so I can search out the card. So he's going to tribute it. That's fine. Not that big of a deal. Because I'm still activating the card technically. Even though their attack is reduced, eh, whatever. Uh, the most important thing was is to add this. I mean, technically if he torrentials, um, it's not the end of the world. However, um, I would prefer it not to be activated. But I also really wanted to show off this card. That was the, kind of the point of uh, this video. <laughs> is to, of course, use a new card. That's why we're uh, messing around with it. We already know the deck is very strong, though. I don't think anyone is going to argue with that. But uh, let's go ahead and activate... Uh, well, we can do a lot of different things. But uh, I'm going to activate this. And I I'm just going to go through, like, all my cards. Uh, just for the sake of just going through all the cards, man. So we're going to re recycle all of these. And then uh, we can activate that in a second. So we drew into another card. Okay, unfortunately that's not the greatest. We're going to go ahead and double this card's attack just so we can throw in more cards into the graveyard. Um, so we're going to go ahead and target the Shooter Kid. Uh, I don't really like Calamity too much. I just play because it's another level 4. Basically we're going to be able to recycle all of the stuff and we can get this effect, yes. Uh, and then we can go get rid of this card because the other card can bring out the other card from the deck. Technically that could bring out the other card. Oh, great. Wonderful stuff, wonderful stuff, and uh, we can actually go into some exceeds over here. It's not too often that you actually uh, go into exceeds in this deck, but uh, I mean, it, it does have the options to go for them. And in this scenario, we're just going to go ahead and attack. Do some damage to him, and more likely it's going to be game. I, I really don't think that uh, my opponent is going to really be able to come back. Is this until the end of the turn? Uh, only, it's only until the end of the turn. Okay. Well, I mean, again, it's it's not like the most meta of decks. Um, there is there was a few cards ca that came out a while ago for Skull Surfer. There's that. Oh gosh, what was it? it was for rank one. Was it rank ones? Level one monsters. There was something that supported level ones. I forgot what it was, but it, it, again, guys, it, he didn't get rolling, and like you need to go get your deck rolling relatively quick. Now, unfortunately, right here, I'm not gonna be able to. Uh, well, technically, I could. Um, I can go for this. Uh, and I can activate it over here, and uh, this can be actually pretty good. 
because I could. Oh, Twin Twisters is activated. I no, you did. You did not just do that, man. You you messed up, boy. You done goofed. <laughs> okay, uh, because uh, yeah. Just wait, just wait. Okay, we'll we'll, we'll see what he's uh. Right, yeah, he discarded. Okay, oh, he's, he got to send the card. Okay, you done goofed, son. Because I'm getting these effects. You best believe we getting so many extra cards. Let's get rid of Shooter the Kid. Uh, uh, th th this deck, guys. I know you, some of you guys might say he wasn't playing meta, but the whole point was to show you guys this card. I'm just going to just expend a bunch of my cards. So we're going to add that. It's pretty good. Death Parado. And I also want the one that negates effects. Uh, it's the... Uh, this one? The Cross Dominator. Great stuff, great stuff. <laughs> Tell me this is balanced. Yeah, I think Konami was like, you guys remember Zodiacs? You guys thought that they were good? Oh, wait, wait till you see Magic Bullets. Especially, guys, since later on, since the, that's extra Magic Bullets in the graveyard, whenever I activate um, Cross Dominator later on, probably this turn, that's fine, you can go for his effect. Um, later, when he, whenever he makes something that I don't want to do, I got double Honest, all right, I can get even more cards. We're, we'll let him get go for it. Go for that effect. You can go for a, go for a big card, man. I want to see. I'll, I'll give him a chance. I will give him a chance. All right. Let, let's let's see what he makes. Like, he can't even make shock uh, shock master. Get <laughs> stop by a, a spell or trap monster effect. Uh, honest. Okay. Uh, White prince. Uh, that's fine, dude. Like I, I I I'm okay with that. But we got the effect of this, and we got the effect. Uh, no, we haven't gotten the effect of shooter doctor. I forgot which ones we we uh, we even went for. We'll, we'll let him go. We'll let him let him go for a couple plays here. It's not like I can stop White Prince, and so he's gonna send some cards to the grave. I'm just curious to see what he decides to make uh, with this. All right, let's see what he makes. Because if he attacks into the, the one, I'll actually want to protect. Okay, so he's attacking into that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make that have zero. And I also get to reset my cards. And I would like that effect. Definitely. And we can go ahead and recycle some of the cards. Uh, so we'll put back a Devil's Deal. Because I actually want to get back... Um, well, this one I cannot get back because I activated it this turn. We'll put back that one. Like I said, it's it's pretty much over at this point. We we'll get back that card. Oh, before damage knocked down, we could go, man. <laughs> uh, I don't. I'm not sure. Is it say original attack? Okay, so that's attacking into that. Um, I don't really want any of these. Uh, I'd rather just I'd rather just drop an honest on him. Like I, I feel bad for him because he's gonna attack into this, and I'm uh, honest again. <laughs> So he's gonna tribute it. Okay. I, I believe we had. Do we? I think we. Uh, do we activate Caspar? Or uh, whatever. It, uh, it it doesn't really matter at this point, man. It, it's it's over. I call that that only has. Uh, okay. Well, let's go ahead and get started by uh, destroying his uh, his card, and then searching out uh, the the one that negates uh, effects. And uh, good on this. We're gonna go with the uh, the negate effects. And uh, now we can go ahead and I think we do we have three? Is that is that another pot of avarice? Oh sweet man. Not like I really need this to be honest, but like it's just again guys to show you guys to how much we can abuse uh, this card because it, it's an excellent card. I actually wouldn't mind having this card in the graveyard simply because this card can technically recycle it later on down the line. Okay, and we're good. And we draw a card. Okay, we got a, another shooter doctor. I mean, there's really nothing I can, I really want to make um, in this scenario. However, uh, we've already activated that effect. We have not activated this card's effect. Uh, we could go for a normal song of honest, just so it's like, hey, we could push for some extra damage. Why not? We're not going to be afraid of torrential tribute. Uh, I'm trying to think of what we would actually have to be afraid of, like battle fader out of nowhere, <laughs> you know. But I think we're good, guys. It's 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 pretty much been game because uh, this deck, honestly, guys, uh, it, it took a while to get like a, a, a full duel in. A lot of times, if I act, if I activate ties of the brethren, it's just a quit. But the whole point 
and I actually was able to pull this off, what, three, three, four, three, four times this duel? We got a lot of extra draw power, and, and that was the, the, the highlight of the video. It wasn't to show you guys, like, a, necessarily a, a good duel. It was more so to show you guys how strong uh, this can be. Um, and before someone's like, it's not versus true Dracos. Uh, <laughs> not, not good deck, man. Not a good deck. Uh, some of the honest there would disrespect. I can't do math guys. All right, but uh, now that you guys have seen it um, I, I know all of you guys always ask for deck profiles sometimes guys when I'm playing these decks um, I, 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 I guess like we can we can talk about a quick brief deck profile But I don't want to say that this is a good build. Okay, this was just used uh, Just so I can get this new card again. Okay, there's to showcase the new card. I'm not mad. I I, I stand by magical mallet in this deck though. However, I don't know about this card. So anyways let me talk about what's new in the, the deck. Like, it's just basically this card. However, there is additional info that I would like to provide for you guys. So before, as far as the uh, Magi Bullet, is it, yeah, so it's a one word. So as far as the Magic Bullet, the only card we did not play was Fiend Zamil, uh, which is actually used against uh, Zodiacs, but I was like, okay, it's fine. All right, I'm sorry. True Dracos, when you got the, the piece, you, you double this and it's 5k. Okay, that, that's the whole point of running this card. But uh, I wanted to mention, since there is only... Uh, before, before this card came out, before Shooter Wild came out, there was only two Magic Bullets that were level 4, so you could not ties of the Brethren if you only had one level 4 monster. Magical Mallet was used, it's not bad though, it, don't get me wrong, I think Magical Mallet can be pretty good in the deck, but, I don't know, I, I personally like it, I don't think it's for everyone though, but it really helps out with those hands when you draw too many Tomb Tables. Uh, also, if you draw Tomb World, Tomb World pretty much is like a Meg 1, um, unless you happen to, um, like, I'll draw, I'll go through all of these. Because the idea is to tune table and the tune table and tune table and go for this. So this helps out with that. But also it allows you to go for Ties of the Brethren on your level 4s now. Because before, since there was only two targets, you couldn't utilize Ties of the Brethren. Because they have to be two monsters with, uh, with the same type, attribute, and level, but with different names from each other. So you couldn't use it. So now it lets you just go straight into it. So that's one thing that really helps out. But other than that, there's not really anything new that I wanted to mention. Uh, like I said, don't don't do not do not copy this deck. It's probably not the most optimal. I don't even know if I would actually play this card to be honest, because I feel like if you've gone through three magic bullet spell and traps, usually you win the game. Uh, the the point of the video was to show up how good it can be, but I felt like it was a win harder. Skull servants probably weren't going to be beating this deck anytime soon, uh, especially because this deck is very very fast. If you just have like ties of the brethren or just like one card uh, to go into other cards, these skull servants. I don't want to say they have to sack you, but uh, like it's not very common that turn one they get like a 8,000 skull serving. It can't happen. Don't get me wrong. I've seen it. But um, actually, you know, there's a really, really good skull servant video. I'm going to link it down below in the description box. Check it out, guys. It's, it's fire. It's probably one of my greatest videos that we've done this year. But uh, anyways... Uh, Shoot a Wild, it's a new card, lets you draw some cards, and I wanted to also mention, it's just magic bullets. It doesn't have to be just the monsters or just the spells. You can mix and match, and that's what really helps out the card. However, again, I feel like if you've gone through three, three of them, and it doesn't have to be like... Uh, different ones, but I feel like if you've gone through three of them, you usually are at such like an advantage in the game anyways, then more likely you're going to be winning. However, one thing I do want to admit that it makes it, like I wouldn't mind playing one, honestly. It's not that bad of an idea, but I was originally playing three, uh, but uh, I was like, I'm going to just drop it because uh, I really don't think it's that necessary to have multiple copies of. Uh, but um, it, it, again, it was to show up. I, I wanted to get examples of it, but again, it was just like people quit on me. I'm like, okay, let's make some modifications to it. But um, the thing with this card is that it makes this card a little bit better, uh, the shooter to the kid, because you discard a magic bullet, and when you discard the monsters, before it didn't really help out, you'd want to discard the spells and traps. But this makes it so if you discard the monster with shooter to the kid, it makes it a little bit more viable. But uh, anyways, yeah, I just want to talk a little bit about the deck, but hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing the new Magic Bullet Shooter Wild card in action. Let me know, guys, what you thought of it. Do you guys think he's he's good? How many would you play in the deck? For me, I'd also say one is okay. Uh, like I said, I played three. It's completely unnecessary because I didn't like drawing into multiple of them. It's not so great. Uh, but uh, it is a level 4, so it helps you sometimes make rank 4s, but I didn't really like going for rank cards in the deck anyways in the first place, but uh, that's my thoughts on him. But I think he's viable, but he's not like, oh, must play three of them. Unless, of course, they make uh, if they make like a, a, a searcher that just adds one, then okay. Yeah, but maybe we'll play three of them because that would be good. Because you, you search out a card, then you have a shooter the kid, and that's already two double cards engraved. 
has a lot of potential, and then you activate anything that's triple. That's fast. All right. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, drop a like if you enjoyed seeing it in action. Like some let me know your thoughts down below. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see some of the newer Yu-Gi-Oh cards in action. I mean, this card just got announced. But thanks for watching, guys, and I am signing out.